Hey, uh, what's up guys, uh, Tankman6294 here, and, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, redstone tutorial for Minecraft. Uh, I always play Minecraft, and I'm pretty good at making redstone, and I've never made any videos for Minecraft, so this is my first one, so make sure you comment and, you know, like and tell me what I can do different or how to improve or what I'm doing right, uh, just so I can make better videos in the future because I'm probably gonna come out with a series for Minecraft. Um, Right now, all I'm doing is I am grabbing stuff out of uh, the creative mode in, or inventory that you would use uh, to make some sort of redstone contraption or whatever you would want to make. Um, the first one uh, is redstone, and redstone is pretty pretty obvious what it is. It's just the wire or whatever you want to use to actually make the thing. The redstone torch inverts redstone, and I'll get later into that later in the... Uh, video and I'll show you kind of what it does. Um, lever, pressure plates, and buttons how, is how you activate redstone. Each one does it in a different way. So I'm going to show you that too. And um, repeaters uh, are what you need to use for pistons and uh, dispensers. So my first thing I have set up here is just a piston with some redstone and what I'm showing you right now is uh, a pressure plate and with a pressure plate uh, if you stand on it it stays active and once you step off of it, there's a delay and it shuts off. Uh, with a lever, you flick it on and it stays on. And it will be on until you turn it off. And then the last one, which is a button, you push, it's a delay, and then it goes back in. So you can see that it goes out, delay, comes back in. This one, I'm inverting it. Uh, I'm using a redstone torch. And what inverting it does is with the lever or the button off, the pistons open if you see it's open right now so when you turn on the lever you're actually turning off the piston or if you push the button you're actually turning off the piston now when you do this with pressure plates you have to build in a different way because pressure plates go on the ground so you actually have to dig down and come up like that it's pretty straightforward I mean I can't really tell you guys how to build these uh, because they're just kinda of simple kinda of show you like how it works and all um, but I made two contraptions just kind of to show you how the whole thing works and the first one is just a door and when I was filming this because I have it so you can open it from the outside and then close it on the inside if you were like in a building um, so I had to go over there and switch it around but what you have right now is a closed door and when you turn that lever uh, the two uh, it's a two high opening and two wide they just pull in and you can walk through and then with that lever you can shut the door again which is nice if you're in a multiplayer server you can shut the door behind you um, now I'm going to show you how it works and this is pretty much the first part of the whole repeater process now this is just my first video and if I get enough views and enough people comment and want me to do something a little more in depth I'll go a lot more into the whole repeaters because repeaters is pretty much what you use to make any contraption with redstone because most of the contraptions you use you have to use a piston or some other device that requires a repeater um, but all you do is you know repeater to the uh, the piston redstone to the repeater and so on and so on um, I'm just showing you right now that it's inverted this contraption so the pistons are actually open when the lever is off so when you turn the lever on the pistons will actually close um, I guess you want you don't have to invert it, but I feel it's easier to invert uh, because if you don't invert it, you can't have the lever on the other side to uh, shut the door again. And then this one I made really quick. Uh, the only thing I really did here is a staircase that comes out. Now, if you used wood, you could box this in and make it look hidden. But I wanted to open it up so you guys could actually see what I was doing. Um, it's pretty simple it's pretty much the same way repeaters to the pistons redstone and all that such but what I did here was uh, when I turn this back on you look the stairs on the bottom and each layer they all are lined up with each other and they're delayed the same so they open up almost like the bottom goes and then the next layer and the next layer and so on and so on you can do this for as high as a uh, thing that you would want um, and how you delay repeaters is you right click on them and if you saw right there the torch moves out a little and that sets the delay now if you watch right here when I flick it on you see that they pull apart all at different times but the both sides are equal with each other so the delay is all set up 
this took a little bit of a while just because it, it took me a while to remember that I had one all the way in the back to continue the redstone, uh, like the current. I had to put one all the way in the back, and it kind of threw me off because I didn't know where this extra delay was coming from. But I finally found it, and uh, finally fixed the problem. And again, guys, this is just my first video. I'll probably be coming out with more, more complex, more cooler uh, contraptions. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, don't uh, don't be afraid to favorite. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.